People are terrified of snakes. I find them beautiful. I love the way they move. I love their colours. They yawn, they have their own little quirks and personalities, which some people find, you know, how can a snake have a personality? Well, they absolutely do. My name is Veronica Ross, and here in Tassie, people call me the Snake Lady. Most people are really surprised um, when they find out that I'm actually coming to get the snake. They think perhaps I'm the secretary and just answer the phones, so I do get some very interesting reactions. <laughs> so that's a bit of a giggle. How did I get into this business? Uh, I actually killed a snake on my property. I ended up dropping a big piece of steel on his head. It is something that I am ashamed of to this day, but it changed the entire course of my life. You know, I thought, okay, I need to know how to handle it better next time. I ended up doing a snake handling course at TAFE and we finished and the gentleman said, look, we're always looking for people to come and get errant snakes that are in the area. And I put my hand up and the rest is history. I've had my own business now for five years. I have an awesome team of volunteers and we do displays and education and we all love it. <laughs> this is King James. He came to me because kids had poked holes in him with sticks. Um, he was a bit of a mess. He had to have an operation and lived on my kitchen table for six months. He's the kindest, most gentle natured snake I've ever met. He's actually my favourite, but don't tell the others. <laughs> so the level of fear that I see is terrible. I've had grown men crying, I've had people in hysterics, and it's just not necessary. What I love to do is I'm able to give those people better information so that they're able to take a step back and realise that it doesn't have to be this way. Something that most people don't know about me is I have an acquired brain injury. Uh, 12 years ago, I slipped over on some water in my kitchen, hit my head. Again, it's one of those moments that happens in an instant and changes the rest of your life. In the beginning, it seemed to affect everything. Spatial ability, I knocked things over, I couldn't work my way sometimes through doors and I was always, you know, banging edges. Didn't eat out for many, many years because I was so self-conscious about eating in front of people. Memory's a big one, it's something that I still struggle with now. I had zero self-confidence. I was, you know, I was stupid. I thought I was dumb. You know, that self-talk was just terribly negative and um, I wasn't very nice to myself for a long time. I was still in the very early stages of recovery when I started snake handling. It was scary, you know. It's something that can potentially kill you. So I had to be fully focused for extended periods of time, which was very difficult. But I loved working with them and being with them was almost therapy. Just the movement and being able to get out of my own head. I love the fact that my reaction speeds are almost back to normal now. And I said to my GP that dealing with venomous snakes will do that for you. <laughs> Getting involved with the snakes has really boosted my confidence. It's something that I feel like I'm good at and I'm not useless, I'm not hopeless, I'm not helpless. It's quite empowering to stand with somebody and they've lost their fear of snakes in just 
a matter of minutes really. They walk away, you know, feeling on top of the world. It's it's um, it's an amazing feeling.